Just a hundred bucks. Come live your best life at Eastridge Residence. So I will tell you a true story. I was uh, registry shopping with my daughter who's getting married this summer the other day and we were walking through and she loves to cook. And where we were, were these beautiful, uh, this beautiful display of lodge cast iron. Uh, and of course that got us talking about the lodge cast iron in South Pittsburgh and how it's made right here in Tennessee. And one thing led to another. So who knew that then this week, Sean Phipps was gonna have my way with Chattanooga Tourism Company. You know quite well about it's lodge cast iron. It's amazing how it works out, right? Yeah, yeah. right. My job is to know a little bit about a lot of things, uh, and we had the... Uh, that makes you dangerous. It does, it does. We had the ability, uh, Donna, my, my co-worker, and I, we went down to the Lodge, brand new Lodge Museum of Cast Iron, and I want to say that right because it's not the Lodge Museum, it's the Lodge Museum of Cast Iron. So they tell the whole story of cast iron from, you know, the, the early pioneers who started making it all the way up to the people who founded Lodge and just kind of the ways we use cast iron in cooking. Uh, and of course, I had to leave the factory with a pan of Of iron. course you did. Yeah. Did you get a skillet? Did you get oh, a splurged, pot? Right? What I did you get? Splurged. I got one of the new black uh, lock pans. They're like twice as thin, but they are so triple So it's not coated, super heavy? Not super heavy. It's got some ornate on it. It was, it was like 20% off too, so it was like, that's the thing. They go down there, that's, they get you. There's the museum and then there's the factory store <laughs> and you go out and it's like 40% off everything. And right, so of so course I'm taking you buy. Pans and my wife is going, what are you doing? But see, here's the thing. Okay, so first of all, it's so great that we have Sean and Donna come our way from the Chattanooga Tourism Company because there are plenty of people who are choosing to come and visit here mm -hmm. for these very things. Yeah. Uh, like the Lodge Museum of Cast Iron. Well, we yeah. forget it's in our own backyard. Well, that is. It's, it's a 20 minute, 20, 25 minute drive um, just over there. It's a beautiful drive mm -hmm. uh, down the interstate. And a lot of people come to the, um, the South Pittsburgh area for the Cornbread Festival right. every April. A lot of people had wanted to visit the Lodge Museum, but you know, there wasn't a, a museum yet. It was just right. kind of you go to the factory and you can take factory tours, but now uh, there's a whole museum dedicated to it. There's actually screens you can walk up to and press a button. And there's our own like Kenyatta, local chef Kenyatta, cooking in a Dutch oven out on a campsite. It's really interactive, it's cool. So you often will bring us a video to watch. Can we watch one this morning? I think I have one, yeah. Let's take a look. Hey Donna, a little help here. Donna? Oh! Looks good to me. Donna. Donna. Welcome to the CHA Spotlight. This CHA Spotlight features one of Tennessee's treasures, the Lodge Museum of Cast Iron, just a few minutes away from downtown Chattanooga. This place is more than just cast iron. It's about the people, the stories, and the amazing food created with this product made right here in Tennessee. There are so many things to do. You can even find out how to cast iron in the foundry. If you're looking to add a pan to your collection, you can come to the store where they offer factory seconds at a deep discount. Bring your friends, your family, and if you're hungry, stop by the Big Bad Breakfast. This place is so interactive. There's opportunities to see how cast iron products are made, but it's also really neat to see the people that were involved in all of this history. This is a CHA Spotlight only at visitchattanooga.com. Isn't that amazing <laughs> with all the changes in technology and things over the years, yeah. but this is something that's been done pretty much this one way for all these centuries. Yeah, because it works. Because right? it works. It works, you know, I wanna, um, you know, when my grandmother passed away uh, many years ago, uh, one of the things that I took was her cast iron skillet Absolutely. that she'd had for 60 years wow. and had only ever made cornbread in it. And so I'll only ever make cornbread in it, but I have my grandmother's cast iron skillet. So these things have lives beyond even our own lives. It's a right. true heirloom. We have a similar thing. My husband has his dad's cast iron skillet. Um, and yeah, it's the same thing. Something that's been in the family for 60, 70 years. Yeah, it's really great. And the so food what is you, great. So what you bought 
uh, you'll have for a long, long time. I hope, yeah, if I don't burn it up like I did in the, in the video. So talk about the Big Bad Breakfast. Yeah. Did y'all eat there? We did eat there. We, I it hear was, it's addicting. It's pretty great. It's one of those places where you sit down and the food is so decadent and delicious that you feel almost guilty for eating it. Like, you know, should I really be having this? Really? This delicious, yeah, it's, it's really good. Uh, and it's right there in South Pittsburgh and it was packed when yeah. we went. And then the massive skillet that had the egg in it, the fried egg. Is that a real skillet? Is that the one it's you said? It's a real skillet. And you wanted me to touch it. So you're not supposed to touch it, but I touched it. And it's a real <laughs> cast iron skillet. It, uh, I don't know how much it weighs, but it is, it's heavier than anything you can, can you imagine. Can you imagine the mounting? They had to bring it in like a flatbed truck, one of the large like um, trucks that had to deliver it. Why can't you touch it? Are they afraid it'll fall? I don't know why. They, I don't know. I don't ask questions. If somebody tells me not to touch I it, I'm not touching it. I ask questions for a living, right? Sean. I know you do. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> I did touch it. No alarms went off or anything. So was there an admission fee to get in to the... Yeah, there was a, there was a small admission fee to get in. I didn't pay one because I was doing a promotional video sure. for them, but uh, it's not uh, expensive. <laughs> He's an honest man. And the uh, the thing you can do is, and they, they're geniuses, is you have to walk through the factory store, right? So when you go through the factory store, you see all of these cast irons, and you can actually buy cast iron for a deep, deep discount there. It's like Rock City. When you finish leaving, the kids have to go through the gift shop. Oh, great. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I'll buy Can you a gnome. Candy yeah. at the register, yeah, yeah, the exactly. whole thing. Yeah. Okay, so you can watch this video, share it with those who you know who perhaps are coming to town, and see all types of other fun things that there are to do here in the area at visitchattanooga.com. The phone number 800-322-3344. But if you've got friends coming into town, you should definitely go watch these videos, uh, and it'll make the time with yeah. them all the more fun. We've done 20 of them. Thank you. The numbers are in, and the Mark Hike team has helped more buyers and sellers than any agent, team, or